Curious DIY World Channel presents myths and truths about determining your baby's gender. Have you ever heard that the shape of your belly can reveal your baby's gender? Or that craving sweets means it's a girl, while salty cravings mean it's a boy? These tales are passed down through generations, but is there any truth to them? As a doctor, I get asked about these myths all the time. And you know what? I love talking about them. They're fun, they spark curiosity, and they remind us that even with all our modern technology, we still love a little bit of mystery. In this video, we'll separate myths from facts about the most popular tips for guessing a baby's gender. Get ready to laugh, learn, and maybe even settle that family debate. Stay tuned until the end to find out if any of these guesses actually make sense. Hey everyone, Dr. Mike here, and let's talk about those fascinating sometimes hilarious old wives tales surrounding pregnancy have you ever heard that the shape of your belly can predict if you're having a boy or a girl or that sweet cravings mean it's a girl while salty cravings suggest it's a boy these stories have been passed down for generations fueling fun guesses among friends and family but let's be real for a second how many times have you heard someone say oh you're carrying high it must be a girl only to find out later it's a bouncing baby boy these tales, while entertaining, often lack any real scientific basis, but that doesn't mean they're not fun to explore. Think about it. For centuries, people didn't have ultrasounds or genetic tests to determine a baby's gender, so they relied on observation, intuition, and yes, a little bit of superstition. It's fascinating to think about how these beliefs originated and why they've persisted for so long. Is there a kernel of truth hidden within these myths, or are they purely products of our desire to predict the unknown? That's what we're going to dive into today. We'll unpack the science, the history, and the sheer entertainment value of these age-old beliefs. So, buckle up, grab your favorite snack, because pregnancy cravings are real, regardless of gender bar, and let's unravel the truth behind these baby gender predictions. Pregnancy is a time of immense joy, anticipation, and let's face it, a little bit of mystery. It's a period filled with countless emotions and experiences that are both unique and universal. For as long as there have been pregnancies, people have loved to share advice, stories, and of course, guesses. These conversations often bring comfort and a sense of connection. These old wives' tales are passed down with good intentions, though rarely with scientific backing. They are a blend of cultural wisdom and imaginative thinking. Think about it, in the past, knowledge about pregnancy and childbirth was often limited. Medical science was not as advanced and people had to rely on what they observed and experienced. People relied on shared experiences and observations leading to a rich tapestry of folklore and traditions. These stories were a way to pass down wisdom and offer guidance. Predicting a baby's gender has always been a favorite topic, especially before modern tests existed. It was a fun and engaging way to involve the community. It's easy to see why. The anticipation of welcoming a new life into the world is exciting and trying to guess whether it'll be a little boy or girl adds to the fun. It brings people together in a shared moment of joy. These myths, even if they're not scientifically accurate, provide a sense of community and shared experience. They create bonds and foster a sense of belonging. They connect us to generations past, to our mothers, grandmothers and ancestors who relied on these tales to navigate the unknowns of pregnancy. These stories are a link to our heritage. While we now have access to accurate and reliable methods for determining a baby's gender, the allure of these old wives' tales persists. They are a charming reminder of simpler times. They remind us of a time when intuition and observation were the primary tools for understanding the world around us. These tales are a testament to human creativity and resilience. So while we may chuckle at some of these beliefs today, it's important to remember their historical and cultural significance. They are a part of our collective story. They reflect our innate human desire to find meaning and make sense of the unknown, especially when it comes to something as miraculous as pregnancy. These tales in their own way celebrate the wonder and mystery of life itself. Chapter 3, Debunking the Myths, Separating Fact from Fiction. All right, uh, let's get down to business. We've talked about the history and the charm of these pregnancy myths, but now it's time to separate fact from fiction. We're diving into the science, or lack thereof, behind some of the most popular baby gender predictions. First up, the belly shape myth. Carrying high means it's a girl. Carrying low, it's a boy, right? Wrong. The truth is, the way you carry your baby depends on a number of factors, including your body type, muscle tone, and even the position of the baby itself. 
Next, let's talk about those cravings. If you're craving sweets, it's a girl. If it's salty snacks you're after, it's a boy. Sounds familiar? Well, while pregnancy cravings are definitely real, they're more likely linked to hormonal changes and nutritional needs than the gender of your baby. Another popular one is the ring test. Tie your wedding ring to a string and dangle it over your belly. If it swings back and forth, it's a boy. If it circles, it's a girl. This one is pure superstition, folks. The movement of the ring has more to do with the way you're holding the string than anything else. And how about that infamous linear nigra, the dark line that appears on some pregnant bellies? If it extends above your belly button, it's a boy. If it stops below, it's a girl. Again, not true. The linear nigra is caused by hormonal changes during pregnancy and has nothing to do with the baby's gender. We could go on and on, but you get the idea. These myths, while fun to ponder, are just that. Myths. They're not based on scientific evidence and shouldn't be taken as reliable predictors of your baby's gender. Instead, trust the medical professionals and the technology available today to give you accurate information. Remember, every pregnancy is unique and the best way to ensure a healthy journey is to stay informed and consult with your healthcare provider regularly. Chapter four, the science of determining baby gender. Okay, so we've busted some myths, but you're probably wondering, Dr. Mike, how can we actually find out our baby's gender? It's a question that has fascinated parents for generations. Well, the good news is that we live in an age of incredible medical advancements and determining your baby's gender is now more accurate and accessible than ever before. Gone are the days of relying solely on folklore and guesswork. The gold standard, of course, is an ultrasound, typically performed between 18 and 22 weeks of pregnancy. An ultrasound uses sound waves to create an image of your baby in the womb. This non-invasive procedure is not only safe, but also provides a wonderful first glimpse of your little one. A trained technician can usually determine the gender with a high degree of accuracy by looking for specific anatomical markers. These markers are often clear enough to give parents a confident answer. But what if you're eager to know sooner or want to confirm the ultrasound findings? There are other options available that can provide answers even earlier in the pregnancy. That's where non-invasive prenatal testing, NIPT, comes in. This blood test, typically offered after 10 weeks of pregnancy, analyzes fragments of your baby's DNA that are circulating in your bloodstream. It's a remarkable advancement that allows for early detection. NIPT can accurately determine your baby's gender, along with screening for certain chromosomal abnormalities. This dual benefit makes it a popular choice for many expectant parents. And let's not forget about chorionic villus sampling, CVS, and amniocentesis. These tests, typically performed later in pregnancy, involve collecting a small sample of cells from the placenta or amniotic fluid, respectively. Though more invasive, they provide a wealth of genetic information. While primarily used to diagnose genetic disorders, these tests can also definitively determine your baby's gender. They are often recommended when there is a higher risk of genetic conditions. So there you have it. While those old wives' tales are fun to entertain, modern medicine offers safe, accurate and reliable methods for determining your baby's gender. These scientific methods have revolutionized prenatal care. Talk to your doctor about which options are right for you and your pregnancy. Each method has its own benefits and considerations, so it's important to make an informed choice. Chapter 5. Embracing the Journey, Myths and All. So, we've explored the myths, we've delved into the science, and now it's time to talk about what really matters. Enjoying this incredible journey into parenthood. Whether you're Team Pink, Team Blue, or Team Green, keeping it a surprise. The most important thing is to approach your pregnancy with joy, excitement, and a healthy dose of humor. Those old wives' tales, even if they're not scientifically accurate, are part of the fun. They spark conversations, create memories, and connect us to generations past. So go ahead, indulge in the guessing games, share those funny stories, and embrace the folklore that surrounds pregnancy. But remember, while it's fun to speculate, it's also important to stay grounded in reality. Don't let those myths dictate your expectations or cause unnecessary anxiety. Trust your healthcare provider, rely on evidence-based information and focus on what truly matters, the health and well-being of you and your baby. Pregnancy is a transformative experience, a time of incredible growth, anticipation and love. 
Embrace every moment, myths and all, and cherish the journey as you prepare to welcome your little one into the world. And hey, if those old wives' tales happen to get it right, consider it a happy coincidence. Chapter 6. Share your stories and stay curious. So, tell us, which myth have you heard the most or even believed? Do you have any funny stories about guesses that turned out wrong? Drop them in the comments. We love these kinds of curiosities. Remember, whether it's a boy or a girl, every baby is a unique and precious gift. Enjoy the journey, trust the science, and never lose your sense of wonder. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss new content. Here we always bring useful and fun information to make your journey even more special. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Leave a like and share it with your friends. See you in the next video.